Hello, y'all. Happy, happy, happy Thursday. I hope y'all are having an amazing Thursday so far. And yeah, I know what time it is. This is just a little 10 minute chat while I'm at work. On my break, spending my break with y'all. Um, but I was just sitting here thinking about, man, I just really been just trying to really um, get really, really deep, deep in my soul and spirit, you know, in my mind, in my thoughts, with everything I do with me you know like everything that come out of my mouth i think about it now i just think about myself and just the effects that i have on myself when i'm not right like when i'm not when i'm feeling bad or like when negative thoughts want to come up in my mind or if i see somebody that i'm angry about and i want to say something negative or nasty especially at work just dealing with a lot of people who bring their issues at home to work, you know, and then they tend to put it off on everybody else, which y'all heard the saying before, hurt people hurt people. So I've been really looking at myself in the mirror, reflecting and just really just being honest with myself and checking with the self-awareness, checking my mirror, making sure I'm straight, making sure that I am working on myself making sure that i'm healing and i believe this is something that everybody have to do i think this is a word for everybody i think every person can do it every child i you know i think like because i just look at it as when we were created and just how adam and eve sinned this is just my revelation on you might agree you might not but i believe that everybody needs to heal from something like we all was born into sin so of the sin of so many different things you know as a woman i feel like Eve fell short because she didn't know her identity she didn't know who she was she didn't even believe that she was greater she didn't even believe God's word and truth and what he said. She doubted herself. So I feel like that is a that is a thing that a lot of women struggle with. I know myself not knowing your self-worth, not knowing who you are, not knowing the type of power and control you, you have and not, you know, just doubting yourself and falling for just whatever uh, the enemy says to you, you know, whatever you fall for anything. And with the man, you know, you just following. You following the wrong thing, insecure. A lot of men I see these days, you all into yourself. You all into trying to make a person look, I guess, make yourself look good with these things, material things. I see a lot of people are into material things, shoes, clothes, cars. You trying to look a certain way. You trying to do a certain thing to make yourself look better or appear to be better like i say with myself i struggled for years not knowing who i was so i'm not just talking about people i'm talking about me as well i struggle with not knowing my self-worth letting people treat me any kind of way use me any kind of way at this place at this job people would talk to me i mean the managers would talk to me so crazy like i'm a child like i'm nothing even, you know, men just being taken advantage of with men, you know, even now just not knowing my still work, my kids get to the point to where they want to say certain things. It's just like, no, 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 no. So I had to really, really, really take a hard look at myself, strip myself, you know, when I go home and like on my off days, like I'm off tomorrow, most of the time I don't wear like jewelry and all that stuff y'all i got a nose ring y'all know if y'all looked at a lot of my other videos y'all will see i used to wear contacts contacts and all that stuff i just had to strip myself of, of certain things i don't wear makeup because i don't know how to do it but i used to try but it's just too much but i just don't do extra yes i wear braids and fake hair because it's just easier for me to get up and spray and go but I just try to strip myself away from a lot of things and not putting so much on me. And this is a lesson that I'm teaching my children because they want nose piercings. 
you know, they want color in their hair, they want eyelashes and all this stuff, and I'm trying to teach them to love yourself first because love yourself without those things. Get to know who you are without any of those things. So when you do start getting those things, all this material stuff, it won't change you. It won't define you. It won't it won't give you that identity if you don't got it or if you do. You know, you have to I'm learning to love myself without those things. I don't have the best shoes. As long as I got shoes on my feet, I'm happy. Now when I get money, I, I do we I love Jordans. I love Nikes. I love those different shoes. But it doesn't define who I am. I come to work, I like to dress nice. I don't like wearing no dirty uniforms. I don't like looking any kind of way. I love coming smelling good, hair looking good, nails on point. I love all that stuff. But that doesn't define who I am. When I do step out the door, I definitely want to represent like a king. Looking like a king, smelling like a king, being a king all the way. But that's something that I had to learn. I literally had to sit and look at myself in the mirror. Like literally. I stripped myself of everything completely naked. Just standing at myself and looking at myself. Okay, this is who you are, Brittany. Looking at myself and saying, okay, this is what you got to change. You know, if you don't like this with nothing on, with no makeup, with no eyelashes, with none of this, no nails done, none of this stuff, and you still don't like yourself, you have to change it. Nobody else can do it for you. If you don't like the attitude you have and the stuff that's coming out your mouth and what you're thinking about, you have to change that. I had to get real with myself. Even the stuff that I listened to, certain music, my kids was telling me one day, y'all y'all just listen they basically say god stuff like spirit god stuff that's all y'all look at now and they don't understand you know me cleaning out my system from the toxic stuff and changing it and getting i want to have a pure spirit i want i say i love i want to mean it i don't want to just say oh i love somebody and just go on and be treating people any kind of way no i'm i'm done with being fake and putting stuff out there and you know, because I look back at the relationships that I was in and with my family and with my people. It's just like, I don't want to hurt anybody else. I hurt enough people. I hurt myself enough. I don't want to hurt myself anymore. So I look at myself in the mirror being real with myself. Like, do you love you? You know you have to be healed. You know the stuff that you're bringing into this job isn't right. You know it ain't. You bringing your issues into this job, you know it's not right. You speaking negative and nasty things on people and even thinking it. As a man, think it. So is he. So if you thinking nasty and toxic, that's who you are. I don't. I told myself I did a video yesterday. I don't want to do evil for evil. I don't want to repay nobody with evil because they did evil to me. God told me to love those people, pray for those people, help those people who hate me who prosecute me who do wrong to me and that's a hard thing to do and you cannot do those things if you don't love yourself because it said love your neighbor as yourself love your enemies as yourself so if i don't love myself how can i love somebody else who, who don't even like me it's hard to do just like at work how can you love your co-workers people who are being mean people who are trying to take your job or doing hurtful things how can you love them if you don't love yourself you can't do it. You can't do it. So, this is just a little chat, y'all. Just to be real. Just to be honest with you today. Like, it's December. A whole nother year is about to come in. You know, they say life is too short. I'm like, life is too long. Like, we're going to be here a minute. I feel like I'm going to be here a minute to, to be going through and struggling and, and dealing with people I don't like and, and being evil about it. Having evil in my heart. I want to live heaven. The rest of my days, I want them to be great. I want them to be great. And they will be great because I'm claiming it. I'm believing it. And I'm going to do what it takes for it to be great. So I'm just sharing that with you guys, trying to help you because I'm helping myself. And whatever I learn, whatever, you know, message that I get that I feel like God has given me that day, I like to share it with somebody who it will help. You know, and I hope it does, and I pray it does. I know it will, you know, and I pray y'all have an amazing day. Thank you for the favor that's following us everywhere we go today. Favor is on your life, it's on my life, and I just thank you. I thank you. And y'all have an amazing Thursday. Be great, y'all, and nothing less. Be great.